Hi, and welcome to this lecture on Energy Aware Profiler and Advanced Energy Monitoring. In this lecture, you will learn how to use the Energy Aware Profiler and how Advanced Energy Monitoring works. The Energy Aware Profiler is a PCA tool by Energy Micro that can be used to measure the power consumption of your application. The tool can be launched directly from Simplicity Studio by clicking the Energy Aware Profiler button. Once you have opened the application, you only need to connect the kit and then press the play button in order to start profiling. This window now shows the real-time current consumption of the starry kit that I have connected to my computer. It is also possible to plot the voltage. This is not very interesting in this case since the kit is running from USB power. But this can be useful if your application is running off a battery or an energy harvesting source. The Energy Aware Profiler can also correlate this data directly with the code running on the MCU. To do this, we have to do two things. First, copy this function into your program and then execute it at the start of your main method. We then have to load the object file into the Energy Aware Profiler. Once the object file has been loaded, we can click on a point in a graph and the, code view, and the code view will jump to the corresponding line in the code. The energy profile window shows the accumulated time spent in each function. We can pause the uh, current profiling at any time if we want to inspect some part of the graph. We can zoom in and out by using the drop-down menu. To select a region, we first have to left-click to select the point, and then right-click to set a marker at that point. We do the same thing for a second point, and we have selected our region. The average current consumption for that region can be read at the bottom of the program. The Energy Aware Profiler receives its data from the AEM, or Advanced Energy Monitoring, which is present on all Energy Micro starter and development kits. The AEM is continuously measuring current and voltage and receives samples of the program counter from the EFM32. All of this data is timestamped and sent to the computer over USB. On the development kits, the current and voltage can also be viewed directly on the TFT display. The current measurement has to have a large dynamic range because the consumption for an MCU varies several orders of magnitude between active and sleep modes. The dynamic range for the AEM is ranging from 0.1 microamps and up to 50 milliamps. To facilitate this, a current sense amplifier is utilized together with a dual gain stage. The current sense amplifier measures the voltage drop over a small series resistor and the gain stage further amplifies this voltage with two different gain settings to obtain two current ranges. The ranges overlap and the board controller switches between the gain stages at about 250 microamps. In the high current range, the low gain amplifier is used and the accuracy is 0.1 milliamps. When the current drops below 250 microamps, the high gain stage kicks in and the accuracy increases to 1 microamps. Even though the absolute accuracy is 1 microamp, the AEM is able to detect changes in the current consumption as small as 100 nanoamps. It is also possible to measure your own PCBs. The constraint is that the PCB has to be powered from the regulated 3.3 volts power supply from the starter or development kit. When measuring your own board, first put the MCE on the kit in energy mode 4. In this mode, the MCU only consumes 20 nanoamps so it will have a very small impact on the measurement. A simple way to put the MCU in EM4 is to use the EMO demo found in Simplicity Studio. With this demo you can use the buttons on the kit to select an energy mode and stay there until the board is reset. Then connect VMCU and ground from the SDK to do supply on your PCB and make sure this is the only power source. The AM is now measuring the consumption of the entire PCB including the EFM32 and other parts of the application. Thanks for watching and for more information go to energymicro.com